in today's video, I'm going to go ahead and cover Kobo, the Kobo wallet. Um, it's a wallet that pretty much has a lot of really nifty features that contains the ability to do uh, proof of staking. Um, and the digital wallet basically has a couple of features here where you can actually store your tokens and take advantage of this idea of having some form of uh, payout for just holding the token. So what I really like about it is that it definitely gives you that ability to um, get an incentive for just holding those tokens versus other wallets themselves. Now, Cobalt has various products, um, specifically the Cobalt Vault and the Cobalt Wallet. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about the Cloud Wallet today specifically. Um, and just to kind of walk you through exactly how the interface works and some of the really interesting features about how the Cobalt Wallet actually um, is working. Now, Cobalt is a developer for consumer blockchain products. They do have other products as well. Uh, so I suggest you check out their website to take a look at where are some of the other ones. Um, they recently raised about $13 million um, USD in a Series A round of financing led by DHVC and Wu Capital. And so again, you know, we're looking at these projects. It's really important to take a look at kind of the sustainability of that. So I think that's great. You can definitely download the app already on the Android and the iOS, and I'll be providing those links below as well. Okay, moving to the interface itself, um, you know, when you're looking at proof of stake coins specifically, I mean, the question really is like, how do you get those rewards? Usually people end up taking um, a lot of different ways of doing that. One of them is setting up their computers and of establishing a masternode. Uh, but here, it, you know, usually it's a very, you know, convoluted technical process that involves uh, quite a bit of work on the back end for a user. However, COBOL here has basically designed this so that it's very easy to use uh, and as an example I'll uh, take a look at Dash so currently I have um, $30 worth of Dash the Dash payoff for the master nodes is 6.3 percent if I go ahead and click on Dash you can kind of see that it works exactly the same way as a wallet it's got the send receive and exchange features and on top of that it has an annual return here of 6.3 percent so this is actually a, a very good example of what you're getting for if you actually stake it and Cobo will automatically um, give you those in the wallet once you hold them. So if I transfer in the dash automatically, it will automatically give me that 6.7. Now here's another example here. Decred gives you 11%, which is pretty good. Um, and ETH gives you 2%. So LBTC is one of the higher ones, 85%. And even uh, USDT gives you 4.99%. So as you can see, there's a lot of coins in here. Uh, Cobalt has uh, definitely added quite a bit of tokens in here. There's currently about 500,000 users they and they support over 30 major cryptocurrencies and over 500 tokens and every single time they're constantly updating this I can go ahead and press the positive button here and you can see that I could add many of the of the major currencies that you will find um, everywhere okay now the flagship uh, feature for COBOL is going to be the finance button here that I see so I'm gonna click on that and right now there are two sections there is the proof of stake pooling and then there is the big row the proof of stake pooling is a very interesting one because if you take a look at, at proof of stakes um, basically what it does is that it's a what they call proof of equity really and it allows you to get some income through that smart voting ticket pooling or proof of stake mining or even DPOS and so for example for dash as I was mentioning here it is a master node uh, there's no lockup and you just need about 0 0.01 and if you click on this one for the dash POS you can kind of see that you can go ahead and um, get that daily payout and they have it really cool here where you basically purchase this portion of this uh, of this uh, area and then you would automatically um, get that payout within within that port within a certain period of time okay now also they also have XZ uh, XZC uh, payout and that's a yearly payout as well and then the vet so uh, a very nifty kind of tool so that for anybody who doesn't want to set up those master nodes it allows you for those there's actually a daily reward payout and the payouts are going to be added to your period's initial amount and you can withdraw any times but the rewards for the current period would not apply. And so here it kind of gives you a little bit of information of LBTC, specifically about the smart uh, voting and whatnot. Okay, now the other one I also want to mention is going to be your BitGrow. Now BitGrow actually is a little different than um, than the um, than the uh, proof of stake. And, and the reason why it's different is because these are for coins that don't have that staking ability. Now what's really great about this is that the team behind BitGrow basically is 
they come from these top uh, hedge fund managers, specifically Goldman Sachs and Merrill Lynch. And what they do is that they try to use um, a trading quantitative strategy to generate some returns on this one using the coins that you have in here. And the way it works is that you can here get two options, the flexi plan and the fixed term plan. And so right now they have the Bitcoin contracts that sell out very quickly. Usually people buy these and uh, it's on a 11%, 12% yearly payout. You can actually get them on the VIP. Uh, it's a definitely a very low risk uh, type of contract that you would get. And within those 30 days, you would kind of get some money based off of that. And again, um, it's actually um, on, a, on a contract basis. Now, Flexi Plan's a little different. It actually gives you the ability to withdraw at any time. As you can see, you have USDT, and, but the percentages are a lot lower for this one. So with that said, you know, there's a lot of great opportunities here to kind of take a look at these. Um, and I'll be posting that link below. They have some of the very standard features that you'll find in many of the other wallets, such as market price action. And definitely to get into this account, you need a 2FA. Um, and so I just didn't show that because I, I already wanted it to kind of get set up. But you do have to definitely use a 2FA. The security has... Um, a lot of the very good security portions that I find in the industry. Uh, for Cobalt Wallet, they support two-factor authentication, 2FA, hot coal servers, and they also use a hardware security module, HSM encryption, which makes use of a physical computing device directly to manage your digital cryptography keys. So here's the Cobalt.com website in case you want to kind of double check some of the other features that are here they're not on the app um, it tells you a little bit more about their cloud wallet and their HC well as I was mentioning before and it talks a little bit about the security as well so um, it also has an SDK for uh, mobile apps and also the ecosystem of who's actually backing it up um, if you go back up to the COBOL custody portion uh, which is actually something that um, they are definitely getting in uh, developing. It's going to be the custody tiers, and they're going to have a multi-currency uh, platform. And same idea, they're going to basically support for institutional clients. On the Cobalt Vault, uh, vault um, it's kind of what I was talking about earlier, about their hardware wallet, where you can order now, and it has military grade. It has all these cool features that most likely will provide you a little bit of safety and comfort into the, into the wallet itself. Um, on the POS, on the proof of stake section, I want to mention that uh, here is the actual master notes and how it actually works behind the scenes. And so obviously you would use the Kobo wallet, um, you know, download here, but you can kind of see what the payout here is at 6.74. But again, one of the cool features about this, you don't actually have to create your own master note. You can just go ahead and use the wallet. And then from there, they will actually stake it for you. And it tells you a little bit more information of how much money you would get if you're putting your dash. Let's say I have 10 dash and it will tell you exactly how much you would get. So it's really a neat little tool to kind of take a look at that. Um, you can also do it for um, LBTC and so on. So they'll be kind of adding some of these coins in here to tell you exactly what's going on with that portion. All right, just looking at the company itself real quick. I mean, Kobo has coming from a very nice um, team here. Uh, they definitely have various founders are coming in from these mining pools. Um, the CEO and founder also has um, uh, experience um, at Google and Facebook. And so we do have quite a bit of people in here that have um, a lot of industry experience. All right, guys. Well, if you want to know information, check out the links below. It's going to be at Kobo.com for their wallet. And I'm excited to kind of see exactly what that's going to look like.